Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lovisa J back with another video. Yes, I am back after so many years, yeah. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for clicking in. I really appreciate you for sticking around even when I'm not here. Um, I appreciate your subscription, I appreciate your support. I am so grateful, by the way. Happy new month. This is the month of October. If you have been here for a very long time, you will know laughter comes in October. So I'm going to just encourage you that look at the situations that you're going through and just laugh because God is about to do a good thing. But today, today, girl, we are here. So, I am doing a mukbang. Mukbang. I am doing a mukbang. And at the same time, we'll be chit-chatting because I have some things that I want to share with you guys. I am somebody who like, I always like voicing out. If something's bothering me, I just want to talk about it. But anyway, let's get into this video so that we can understand each other very well, yeah? Mm -hmm. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. So yeah, we are having a seafood boil and this was made specially for me by my sister and her husband. I am so grateful. I pray that God bless you guys. And may you never lack a good thing, okay? <laughs> because this auntie's about to chow, okay? This auntie's about to chow! So guys, I like crap. I don't know how to cook it. I'm, I'm not good at it. So yeah, I asked her a long time ago and she was like, okay, I can do that. My husband can help me do that. Okay, yeah, this is it now, okay? Yeah! I already started eating. <laughs> because I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be having my nando sauce with it. Mm -mm. Just to get that spicy. Oh. So, how are you all doing? Guys, it's been rough. I couldn't post any video last week. I was all over the place. I was so busy. I was literally busy. And I felt so bad that I couldn't even put anything out here. But anyway, I'm here. And then, something happened, you know, that I want to share with you. When somebody, when I'm doing something, I want to do it right. You know, I want to try my best to do it right and perfect as I can. So, I had some moments, you know, because you all know that I work full-time job sometimes it's not easy mm -mm -mm, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. sometimes it's not easy you guys it's so hard sometimes I find myself crying sometimes I'm like what's going on what am I gonna do now because this job I feel like it's not it so let me tell you what happened as I was thinking I was like, God, I feel like you did not call me for this job. You did not call me for this job. This is not my calling. And I was so upset because I know what I did, I didn't do it to my best. I knew that. I felt it in me that I didn't do the best I can to make sure this job was done, you know. So anyway, I was just telling God that God... I feel like you didn't call me for this job. This is not my job. Mm -hmm. It's not something that I or you did not call me for. You didn't call me for this. I was murmuring all day. I came home. I told my husband, I was like, babe, I feel like I'm not doing a good job at what I do. My husband was like, I think you are. It's just that the pressure, you, it's hard, you know, sometimes. You just wanna do what you can. And then, listen to what God said. Sometimes, <laughs> you guys, God hears us. He knows us. And the plans He has for us is to bring us to an expected end, okay? So, after I have complained and complained, this is what He said to me. I gave you this job. <laughs> I gave you this job as a stepping stool for you to the next level. But you 
we decided to chill. We decided to settle. This is not your destination, you know? And I was like, mm mm. I was like, mm mm. mm, -mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. The devil is a liar. You know, after that, I was like, okay, go me your job. And I decided to settle. God said, you decided to get comfortable. <laughs> you know, okay? Where we are, guys, it's not where God, it's not yet where we are supposed to be, you know? God is still taking us somewhere. And until we open our eyes and realize <clears throat> where he's taking us is greater and bigger than where, <coughs> where we think we have arrived and we are good, we are comfortable, we will always mama. We will always complain. Look at the children of Israel. That's an example. So, after I heard that, I was just like, I'm looking to myself and I was wondering, okay, God, you say this is not the destination, okay? And I understand. I cannot fight you on this one, sir. So I cannot. And I was wondering, I know where God is taking me to. But I have been like, laid back yeah of course i get i got too comfortable i'm telling you at my job <laughs> i have the love for people and sometimes i find myself being in your face only because i love being there is it comfortable sometimes it's not but i love being there but god said in this month of october guys wherever you are right now that is just a stepping stone. Don't rush to settle there. That is not the destination. God is still taking you somewhere. So, I just want you to look at yourself. You know, sometimes when we were young, when you were young, you were like, mm, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a nurse. I want to be this and you, I want to be that. And now, the situation. The situation grips you and you find yourself at the uh, petrol station working there you find yourself um at the kitchen as a cook you find yourself maybe as a teacher of which is not what you wanted i look mm -mm -mm. juicy look that is not your destination. God is still taking you somewhere. Use that as a stepping stool. Meaning that study. Go ahead, further your education if you have to. You know what you want to be. And further that your education. Use that job to find your I don't want to say your dream. Use that job to fund your your calling. Maybe your call to be a doctor, but unfortunately, the money, man, you can't even afford to to just go to school. You can't afford. But then you have this job, so why don't you use that job to be a stepping stool for you? Is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna be here and then the little I have I'm gonna save and remember to put God first. I'm gonna save by the time by the time a year or two comes I should have enough money to pay my tuition and get back to what I wanna do. Please don't get too comfortable. Don't get get too comfortable. God doesn't oh. like that. You're too comfortable. The enemy grips you, man. He keep you there because you feel like this job is paying my bills. 
you feel like okay this job at least i'm able to get by a month you know i feel like okay with this job i'm able to pay my car like to do my car payments you know mm -mm. don't belittle god do you know what belittle god he's bigger than them don't belittle him so yeah i feel like this month we should all like look into ourselves and see what is it that is missing god what where was i going before getting here you know you can always make a u-turn guys you can always always make a u-turn and find your dream and find your purpose in this life it's never too late it was never too late for john <laughs> It took a while to get him where God was taking him to. You can, you can also take that job that you are in to put you where you are going. So sometimes we get too comfortable, guys. Tell me if you are a seafood lover. Mm -mm. I mean, these people did a great job cooking this, okay? <laughs> They did a good job. I don't wanna lie. They did a very good look at that. Mm -mm -mm. They did a good job. So stop mumbling. Oh mama. Stop mumbling. God has your back. He got you. Relax. Do your best with prayer and supplication. Go to him. Mm -hmm. And let him know that daddy, this job ain't working. It's not working. There's no slow down. It might be a stepping stool for you. So yeah, that's my message for you guys. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I want to wish you the best in this month of October. Like I told you guys that I'll be bringing a little bit of marriage videos. Because this is the month that God put laughter in my mouth. When I finally went before the throne of grace and present my marriage to him. So, yeah, I'll be bringing a content like that. Let me know if you would like to see them. Anyway, this one is too, too much to finish. So I'm gonna take my time and work on it. Until we meet on the next video, comment down below. Let me know what's going on with you. How is everything going for you? And how you're gonna spend this month doing just remember that the plan is for god is not yours the plan is for him so always go to him with prayer and supplication try he will lead your steps because sometimes we find ourselves tied up it's not because he wants us to be tied up okay enjoy your evening enjoy your day enjoy your morning i'll see you next time bye, -bye.